hopefully there's something in this that can that you can apply to your life about the transition okay so as you transition in whether school whether you transition whether in work whether you transition in your your family life whatever it may be you know do you think about it the definition of the word transition is to go from to, to change from one state or condition to another and for for as long as I can remember ever since I was in high school I've been playing football I've been playing football football set my schedule I knew what I was doing in in August I knew what I was doing in, in, in September October November December you know January February so I was doing something constantly and it was always setting my schedule I didn't have to be creative I did not have to be I didn't have to come up with things on my own and so again being in a transition period I was doing something for a long period of time and then I had to transition then the, the, my NFL career came to an end and so what was that like you know I remember when at the end of the, at the end of my 10 year career I started getting hurt you know I broke my leg I tore, I tore my shoulder you know I got surgery on that but because of those things my career came to an end but now it's time to move on now it's time to move forward now it's time to do something different so what do you do how do you deal with that how do you deal with transitioning how do you deal with doing something for so long and then all of a sudden now you got to change and do something different maybe it's a job maybe it's a child you know a child in the family maybe maybe it's a relationship maybe you do it well, I remember during that time for me, that was a period of time, you know, that I was, I was scared. I was scared. I was scared of the fact of what am I going to do? All I know how to do was tackle. All I know how to do was defend the pass, you know, and get people on the ground. All I knew how to do was study film, study tape. That's all I knew how to, that's all I thought I knew how to do, you know. And so part of transition, part of transitioning is understanding what it is that you know how to do and being able to do it and so i found myself during that period of time back in ninth back in 2007 when i finished the league when i finished the league i remember going to, i remember waking up in the morning thinking that i was supposed to go thinking i was supposed to go to practice but there was no practice to go to i'm in transition and i'm transitioning to what remember the definition of transition is to go from one state to another state to another condition. But what am I going to do? Nobody needs nobody needs no corporation needs somebody that know how to tackle. Nobody needs you know, unless you're offensive Tate, the linebacker, you know what I'm saying, who tackle people in the office for doing the wrong things. You know what I'm saying? Nobody needs somebody that know how to break down, you know what I'm saying, Tom Brady or Peyton Manning. So what do you do? Well, what I did is I remember during that time it was very scary. During that time, I, 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 I had a fear. I had a fear that I was, I was a has-been. I had a fear that my best days was behind me, that I, would, that I would never equate to what I used to do, what I used to do in front of 70,000 people. You know what I mean? So there was some depredation there. There was some fear. There was some, you know, there was some nervousness. You know, there was some concern. But here's what I did do, and here's what I want to leave with you. I, let, I did five things that I want to leave with you is that that way if you're going through any transition, if you're going through transition, that you can apply to your life. You know what I mean? Number number one, well, the first thing one of the first thing I had to do, I had to, had to understand my purpose. I had to look at myself and say, Donovan, what is your purpose? What is your purpose of being here? What was your purpose of being in the last in your last job? And what is your purpose of moving forward into whatever you do next? Well, in order for me to understand my purpose, I had to understand my gifts. And you have to understand your gifts. What are your gifts? What are the things that you do better than that, that you find yourself doing no matter what you do, no matter where you go? Well, for me, it was teaching and it was encouraging. I realized that whatever, that I was always teaching something, whether it was teaching other teammates how to do this, whether it was encouraging other teammates how to do that, whether it was going to schools, talking, whatever it may have been, I was teaching and I was encouraging. So the first thing I had to do, I had to find out my purpose. I had to find out why was I here? Why was I here? And what was I here to do? And so I realized that beyond, that, that the NFL just provided me a place for me to exercise my gifts, 
my gifts of teaching and encouraging along with tackling and hitting people in the mouth, you know what I'm saying? And breaking up passes, you know, that was another part of what I was here to do as well. But I understood that my, I had to understand my purpose. And so the first thing you have to do if you're transitioning from one place to the next is understand your purpose. And part of understanding your purpose is understanding what is it that you like to do and, and what, what is it that you're good at? What are your gifts? Because wherever you go, you'll take your gifts with you. There's a proverb, there's a proverb that says your gifts will make room for you. That means that wherever you go, that your gifts will make room for you. And so I had to understand that purpose and I had to, I had to take that. And so what, what, did, what did I do? I started saying, okay, well, if I, like, if, I, if I like to teach and encourage, who am I, I had to then decide, who am I gonna teach? What am I gonna teach? And who am I gonna encourage? And so I started looking at my career and said, wait a minute. So I went back to school. I went to school for exercise science. Uh, I went back to, I went to JU to, to get my master's, you know what I'm saying, in, in business administration. And so let me see if I, if that's something that I wanted to do. And so that's what I did. I started to utilize, so I put together one day. I said, you know what? I like to teach kids. Let me teach kids something that I know. So I started writing a camp. One day I just started, I was on a plane and I just wrote up a camp and says, you know what, I'm gonna put this together as a flyer and I'm gonna put it out there and hopefully somebody come. Hopefully I get one kid to show up. You know what I'm saying? Maybe two kids to show up. You know what I mean? Because I didn't know, I never did it before. You know what I mean? So how many, you know, there's times that when you're trying to transition from one place to the next, you're not gonna have that guarantee. You're not gonna have that definite guarantee that what you're gonna do is gonna work, but you have to just try anyway. You have to just give it a try anyway. So number one thing, is I had to understand, <clears throat> I had to understand my purpose, and that purpose was finding out what am I good at, what are my gifts, and so that's what I did. I put together a camp, you know what I'm saying. And not only did I put together a camp, I started saying, you know what? Well, I like to teach, and since I like to teach, what, what do I like to do? So I started, I started connecting with elementary schools and or middle schools and high schools, and I started going around teaching teaching people at the high school, just kind of just telling them my story, telling them, you know, that they can pursue their dreams. You know what I'm saying? So what was I doing? I was basically looking from the inside, I was living from the inside out so that way I can, so that way I can succeed on the next level of my transition. And so, the, so that was the second thing that I had to do. The first thing I had to do was purpose. The next thing I had to do in terms of transitioning was I had to understand my potential. My potential is what, 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 what am I able to do? What am I qualified to do? What am I qualified to do? I'm qualified to, be, to, to teach football. I'm qualified to teach mindset. I'm qualified to teach leadership. I'm qualified to teach you know, teamwork. And so I, I remember, so I remember I, 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 I started looking at different places that I can teach those things. But for me, I'm gonna be honest with you, I wasn't quite sure that that's, I mean, they, they definitely wasn't paying what the NFL was paying, but at this point, you're not, when you're transitioning, it's not about the money. You know, it's not about how much money you're, I, was, I was going to make. It was about me living out my purpose and finding out what is the next thing that I'm supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? What is the next thing that I'm supposed to be doing? And how do I, and how do I do it? And so yes, I did speak at the Potter's House Christian Academy. You know, what I'm saying Stacy was the Stacy stated there as well. And so understanding the potential, understanding that wait a minute, what what am, what am I what am I built with? I'm built with a mind. I'm built with a heart that love people. A heart. I'm built with a mind that can that that can break things down. That can share things in a way that people can understand conversationally. They can understand it. So same thing for you. So you have to, when you understand your potential, when you understand that listen, whose you are, who you are, and whose you are. When you understand that you were built as a masterpiece. When you when you're built with you know what I'm saying out of, out of seventy thousand thoughts a day. You know what I'm saying you have. You have the ability to create, you have the ability to design, you have the ability to have intuition, you have the ability to imagine, you have the ability to visualize, you have the ability to create, you have the ability to do all these things. And I had to get to that point that Donovan, it doesn't have to happen just on the football field. It can happen in the classroom, it can happen in the auditorium. And so what did I start doing? As I said, I started with camps. I started with youth camps and started putting out youth camps. Then I started, Putting out, putting out, uh, you know, opportunities for me to speak at the different schools, and all these things at this time was free, you know what I'm saying? Except the camps, 
You know what I'm saying? And I started doing it for free. And then I said, you know what? I, I, you know, I also like, I want to do something for the community. I want to do something for the community that's free, something for the disadvantaged community that can bring people together. You know what I mean? So then I started my Donovan Darius Foundation, my Donovan Darius, my Donovan Darius Foundation, where we equip to educate and educate people and connect them with resources so that they can that they can maximize their life and take their lives to the next level. So I started what I call life these life camps. You see, and all this stuff was happening because I was transitioning. All this stuff was happening because I was looking from the inside, understanding my gifts and my talents and understanding what is it that I wanted to do and understanding not only what is it I wanted to do, but also to, or just or trying to understand what I wanted to do, but just looking at my purpose my purpose here on this earth, and then looking at my potential. What am I capable of doing? And so we've, so to date, you know, here we are, to 2021. We've hosted over, we've, we've hosted, uh, hosted over 140 something sports camps. Okay, I won a sports Emmy award for my sports camps. You know what I'm saying? I've done over 30 something life camps where I brought, we brought families down to the Jacksonville Jaguar Stadium. I said I wanted to open up this stadium a place that was a dream of mine. It was a dream of mine to play at a place like this. Let me open this place up and bring people in so that they can dream themselves, so that they can see that anything is possible for them as well, that they can dream. They can be a kid just like myself from Camden, you know what I'm saying, from, from small beginnings, you know what I'm saying, can have large endings. And so, so I started the Diamond Darius Foundation where we, we served up to date over 5,000 families you know what I'm saying, with coming down to the, to the stadium, you know what I'm saying, giving them encouragement, connecting them with resources, you know what I'm saying, local resources to help them, to help their potential so that we, they can be connected and then they can take their family to the next level. So we started there. So remember, I started with my purpose. Who am I? Why, why am I here? I started with what are my gifts? What are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? What do I like to do? I started with my potential. I had to realize, okay, I had to realize what, 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 what is it, what is that thing on the inside of me and what, is, what am I built with? Well, I was built with the heart, the heart that loved people and a heart that wanted to create opportunities for other people and now I can do that. Remember, this is all happening during a transition phase and you may be going through transition in your life and see all the, and these questions that I had to ask myself are questions you may have to ask yourself, you know what I'm saying? And so not only that, number three, Number three, I had to understand about my passion. What was I passionate about? I had to understand my purpose, I had to understand my potential, but I had to understand my passion. What am I passionate about? Well, I was passionate about teaching people. I was passionate about loving on people. I was passionate on helping people go from one stage of their life to the next stage. So maybe that's the same thing for you. You have to find out what are you passionate about. There's a lot of people going to jobs that they're not, not passionate about. There's a lot of people that are just doing what they have to do, which is no problem at all. I have no, no shame in your game, doing what you have to do. You know what I'm saying? You had to find out what in the world are you passionate about? Well, I found out that on the football field, I was passionate about working with my teammates. I was passionate about working out. I was passionate about taking care of my body. I was passionate about about, about making making other people happy, celebration. And so I had to understand in this transition phase of my life now, what am I passionate about? Well, well what gave me the same type of thrill, a similar type of thrill being on the NFL field that gave me the same type of thrill when I held these camps and I saw these young kids take, you know what I'm saying, go from point A to point B, learn a lesson, build their confidence, all of a sudden speaking, speaking positive over their lives. When I would go to these schools or I would go to these churches and I would talk and then people would understand and they would walk out and say, wow, Donovan, that really helped me because I didn't understand this, but I understand this now. You know, that would help me. That would, that would build something in me that, that built my passion because I was passionate about that. You know what I'm saying? Or, or when I would go to corporations and I would go speak, and all of a sudden, now this corporation, you know what I'm saying, is applauded, and they're willing to pay thousands of dollars for me to come in and speak. And so again, part of this transition is understanding your purpose, understanding your potential, understanding your passion. And then the fourth thing you had to, I had to understand is I had to understand patience. I had to understand that this thing was not just going to go overnight. 
had to understand that you know you know that I made that if I wanted to make money doing what I'm doing now that I had to be patient with it a farmer doesn't put a piece of corn in the ground and then the next day expect a harvest he has to water that he has to wait 60 to 100 days for it to for it to for it to grow so I had to be patient with what it was I was doing I had to be diligent but you know diligent in what I was doing but I still had to be had to be patient and I had to let the process take its toll. Maybe you're in a transition now, play phase right now, or you're about to go into a transition phase right now. And I'm encouraging you. The fourth thing is you gotta be patient. You gotta be patient. You gotta let you gotta let life take its toll. You gotta let things come out. So now, as I said, after all those camps that I've had, you know what I'm saying? You know, with my, I remember I never forget when I when I opened up the box to the Sports Emmy Award and it said Donovan because you were patient, because you understood your purpose, because you understood your potential, he, we're gonna reward you now with, 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 a, with an award based off of your program. Because I was patient, because I didn't expect it just right away, but I just kept going at it. I just kept putting in the time. I kept doing camps over camps. As I said, I've done over 140 something camps to this day, you know what I'm saying? And I have another one coming up next Thursday. You know what I mean, as well. So that'd be about 144th camp that I'll be doing, you know what I'm saying, for youth and for kids. And so I had to understand patience. And I had to see, I had to see, you know, well, one camp, you know, I remember when I first started, the first camp had about eight kids. Then the next camp had about about 15 kids. Then the next camp had about 30 kids. And then the 50 kids. And next thing you know, the 65, 70, 75 kids being patient. So being patient, through the process. So I will, I'll encourage you to be patient through the process. And the last thing that I had to do uh, in terms of in transition, me growing through transition, is I had to persevere. The last thing I had to do to persevere, the first thing is I had to have purpose. I had to, you, you know, when you're going through your transition phase, you gotta have purpose. You gotta understand who you are. You gotta understand what you're here to do. You gotta understand what's your gifts, what's your strengths, what's your weaknesses. Then I had to have potential. I had to understand what was my potential. That means I had to believe in myself that I'm able to do this. You have to believe in yourself that you're able to do this, that you were born for this, that you are you more than qualified for this. Even if you only know a little bit, what you do know, you do know somebody else needs to know as well. And then I had to be sure my I was doing what I was doing. I was passionate about because people can tell what you're passionate about. Hopefully, you can see that I love doing these videos because I'm passionate about it. I'm passionate about telling stories that people can relate to, that people can get an idea from, and people can say, wait a minute, I relate to him. That's just like me, or I can take that point away and I can apply that. Or hey, you know, when somebody when somebody puts up a, a note on uh, on my, you know, on the comment feed and say, you know what, I needed to hear this. I needed to hear this, thank you for that. Or they put hashtag replay or whatever they put up there. It lets me know that, you know what? I was fulfilling my passion. I was fulfilling my passion and it came through. See, passion is something that you can feel. You know what I'm saying? You can feel that. Hopefully it comes through the, hopefully it comes through the, the, the television or the computer or whatever you're watching this on or your phone and you're seeing that there is a passion. Donovan is passionate about this. You know what I'm saying? He's not just doing this for money. He's, I mean, because there is no money doing this. You know what I mean? What I do here on Facebook. But he's doing this because he's passionate about people. He's passionate about people's lives. He wants people to take their lives to the next level. He wants them to be all that God called them to be. And so he not only passion, but he also, but he also had patience. He's patient. I remember when I first started these Facebook Live things, I used to have about, about, about two people just watching. You know what I'm saying? Then all of a sudden it started to grow and grow and grow and grow. Then I had audiences. Then I used to put on what I call these Donovan Darius motivational forums where I used to do it every Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? Some people may remember that. I used to do these motivational forums where we used to have like a, it was, it was a full show on Tuesday. We used to, I, I used to ask questions. I used to show videos. I, you know what I'm saying? Then I used to give a motivational message to the people, you know what I mean? To the people, to whoever was watching, whoever was viewing, you know what I'm saying? And then we would close out with some type of game when, where there was battle of the sexes, whatever it may be, that's what we used to do. But again, I was passionate about that. I was passionate, but I had to be patient. The next thing I had to do, I had to be patient. I had to let it take its toll. 
let it take its toll. I couldn't be in a rush to say, oh man, I want to get a hundred something followers or I want, you know what I'm saying, 3,000 followers or I want 5,000 followers. You know what I'm saying? I had to be patient during that time. And the last thing I had to persevere because there were many times that I doubted, was I doing the right thing? I doubted myself, was, was, was what I was doing where I was supposed to be going or should I be doing something, should I be doing something different? But, I, but, but persevering, but the ability to persevere, to go through the tough times, the ability to go through the times where there's doubt, the ability to go through the times where you're second guessing yourself. You know what I'm saying? That is a key skill that you need during your transition, whether it's transitioning from your relationship, transitioning from your job, transitioning from, you know what I'm saying, from your career, transitioning, you know what I'm saying, from, from whatever it is, your family status, whether you're transitioning from even just, you know, just your body, just your physical health. You need to persevere. You need to put on, you need to keep going and keep going. When times get rough, you keep going. You just take one, you just put one foot in front of the other. There were times when I was doing some of these things, I wasn't running. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like I was running. It was like I was being slow. I remember, I, I'll, I'll never forget it, when I used to start talking to companies you know what I mean, and start talking to them about leadership or talking to them about teamwork or having a having a next level mindset. I remember I used to do it for free. But then I remember, you know, just a couple years ago, you know, teams was, you know, companies was paying me fifteen, twenty thousand dollars to come in and talk to their their hundred something you know what I'm saying, staff, and I, I, don't, I don't say that to get a pat on the back, I say that because I had to be patient and I had to persevere. I had to persevere those times that I wanted to give up. I had to persevere past those times that I wanted to throw in a towel. And so do you, during transition. Remember, the state of going from one place to the next, to the next place, you know what I'm saying, when we're talking about transition. And so again, that's, that's you know, and so here we are, we're, we're, we're past transition. I've transitioned from 2007 here. We're, four, we're basically 14 years later. You know what I'm saying? I've done all these things and I'm still looking for, I'm still looking for different things that we're doing. Like I said, we're gonna have this camp next week. You know what I'm saying? I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm done the transition. I know what I want. I know what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm confident in that. And now I get a chance to do the ultimate thing after you go through your purpose, your potential, your passion, your, your patience and your perseverance is now you're able to teach somebody else how to do it. And that's why I come on here when I talk about Donovan Darius and full transparency, because I want you to be able to do this now. I want you to be able to take on these keys that we're talking about. And I want you to be able to apply these things to your life so you can take your life to the next level. So you can fulfill your purpose here on this earth. And you can you can take your night and you can as I say you can go to the next level for you. So I, I hope I hope that was informative. You know what I mean for somebody today, you know what I'm saying? This is a beautiful day, man. Great D Brown. Good morning, brother brother man, Damien Poster, post postel, man, good morning to you guys as well. So I hope I hope this was good and I hope this was good. As Michelle, you needed to hear this today. And that, that's my desire. That's my desire, that somebody feel like they need to hear something um, today. And so I say, man, you have a great, wonderful day today. Be blessed today. This is, this, is a, this is a beautiful day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. Doesn't mean everything in it, you know what I'm saying? It's something that we be glad about, but we make a choice to be glad in it and to rejoice. And so listen, y'all have a great day today. You know what I'm saying? I'm Don Darius. It's been a pleasure hollering at y'all, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, letting you know a little bit more about myself. Hopefully through, this, through those stories, you can relate to those stories and it can be something that, uh, that can help you along the way, man. All right, y'all have an awesome day, man. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out.